Bill's a unique personality. This is his dream come true, and if there's anyone who deserves a great building, Bill Seidman deserves it as our, sort of our founding father. When I, when I arrived here some nine years ago, the first thing I did was to sit down with Bill. And in that first meeting, he said to me, we need a new building for, for the business college. <laughs> now, I just got here, and I'm in the DeVos Center, right? So I'm thinking, Bill, we have a new building. <laughs> It, says, it may be a lagging indicator, but all great business schools have their own building. I am so pleased to say we're now going to go and take a look at the building where the program that was named for the father will now reside in the building that's named for the son. One of the things this building accords us is an opportunity to put all of our outreach centers in the same space. So on this first floor, We'll have our Small Business and Technology Development Center. We'll have our Van the Global Trade Center here, our Family Owned Business Institute, our Family Business Alliance, the Business Ethics Center, all along this corridor. The area here outside is what we're calling the Grand Gallery. So this is where you know, the folks will come into this space uh, for the events and functions, and we'll have access to the courtyard out this way. And if you look up, that's the second floor where the classrooms are. And this is the entrance way to the building. And as persons enter the space, and we'll have the stock market readings, and that will be emanating from the trading center on the second floor. This is a very special place because this is where we're gonna tell the Bill Seedman story. The storyboard will describe Bill's life, his connection with Grand Valley, his connection with the presidencies and you know, uh, the history of how he worked to, to help the nation as well. So we're gonna head up these stairs and look and go to the second floor where all the classrooms are. Oh, it's on this one. Oh, and this is what we call our case rooms. Look at the views of our campus from this, from this space. We're going to have to pull the shades so the students aren't distracted. And we'll have six of these case study classrooms in this building. And then we'll have three what we call cluster classrooms that I'll show you in a few minutes. We'll also have three general purpose classrooms. We have two computer labs. And we'll have a trading center lab right down the hall here. But in this space is our trading center. Our students will be able to actually manage portfolios uh, the way they do on Wall Street. There'll be flat screens on this side as well, and we'll have clocks that show the times around the world. Right now, one of our student organizations, the IPO Club, actually manages $40,000 of actual cash. Outside of this trading room space, we're gonna have an interactive screen here so that students can get Things like commodities prices by pushing, by touch, just touching the screen and getting the information they want right here on this, on this wall. And we'll also have seating out here for students to just relax. But they can also access this terrace. And there'll be seating arrangements out on the terrace. How many students in the MBA program are we equipped to? Well, right now we have 400 total graduate students. Yeah, 240 are part-time MBA students. Another hundred or so are part-time Masters of Science and Accounting students. About 45 are Masters of Science and Taxation students. And our new full-time integrated MBA program has 16 students. And this is the landing area for the classroom floor. So when the students enter the front of the building and come up these stairs, they then come onto this classroom floor and have access to the floor, these floors. And we expect to have a screen here you know, to give them some information about what's happening in the college that day, uh, those kinds of things. But this is where they'll come to enter the classroom floor. Now these are faculty offices. So this is the marketing area. But we're gonna move through the building pretty quickly. We wanna go through the whole third floor because once you've seen a few faculty offices, you've seen them. 
And you see all the offices are pretty neat because they all have windows. In this conference room, you know, we're going to uh, recognize our Dean's Advisory Board, but we also are going to recognize Marv DeVries, founding Dean of the Business College. So, so that, those are the stairs to access, the elevator to access this space. This is the reception area, and then there's the boardroom. So isn't that beautiful though? Isn't that beautiful view? Oh my goodness.